my goodness, I am so excited. Today is our big hike day. Yay! I can't wait to hear where we're going hiking. I'm so excited. Well, we're going hiking on the mountain over here. Around the lake and up the mountain path. No. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. That's what we've, that, been, that's no. What we've been getting ready for. That giant, around the big lake? Yeah. And up around that giant, the lake and no. up the mountain. No. No, what if I fall in the lake? Um, it, 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 it's a wide path. You're not going to... It's right by the lake. I don't have the courage to do that. And then that great big mountain. What if I roll down that mountain and then there's no ambulance and then okay. I get hurt? Pause. I, I, okay. Time out. Time out. Okay. Time out. Time okay. Out. Rewind. Okay. Let's start with prayer. Ooh, okay. That's a good idea because I'm feeling anxious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dear God, thank you for this day and, and everything that you've given us. Um, Lord... Please help Miss Melanie to uh, get over her fears so that we can go on this wonderful hike and see all of the beautiful nature that you have, have prepared for us. Um, Lord, we thank you for all of the wonderful campfire stories that you've given us. Um, Lord, thank you for these wonderful campfire nights and, and this wonderful camping trip. Um, Lord, we just ask that you, that you help us to, to be safe on this camping, on this hike and, and the rest of our camping nights. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, that helped a little bit, but uh, I'm, still, okay. I, I'm well, not, still not sure I have the courage for this hike. Okay, well, um, usually our campfire stories are like really, really great and in line with with what we're dealing with, so... Because God always, it's like God, God always, always knows. Always knows. Go so, to God, he always knows. Yes, me, I so can't wait to hear this story. Maybe let's, let's check out our campfire story. Okay. Maybe that will help calm you down a little bit, too, because okay. we have been preparing for this hike for a long time. It's kind of why we came. Yeah. Um, I just we've got all our supplies realize. ready. Like, okay. Yeah, and I'm really okay. excited about this hike. So, like, okay. so let's, let's see what our campfire story has. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's what a is one. it? It's a. It's got some courage in it. Definitely okay. some courage in All right. it. Great, I need some courage. Uh, it, it, it's about some royal courage. Royal courage. <laughs> royal like courage. It. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it's about Queen Esther. Oh. Okay. Esther. And you know what? Esther has her own book in the Bible. Wow. In the Old Testament. Yeah. Esther gets her own book. I must be. This must be a really amazing story for God for that Bible to have a whole book. I can't wait. Yeah. So, Esther is a Jewish girl, okay. and she is living in Persia, not in not in 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 Judah, in in the, in the land of the Jews. She's living in Persia, and the king is looking for a new queen, and he chooses Esther because she's beautiful. And her uncle is also a Jew, and he's one of the king's advisors. And now, when he chooses Esther, he, she doesn't tell him that he's a Jew. She kind of keeps it a secret. Oh. And her uncle helps her keep it a secret. And it's not a bad secret. She just doesn't, doesn't tell him because the Jews aren't uh, especially liked in Persia. So they just kind of keep it on the down low. And so she marries the king and becomes Queen Esther. And while she is queen, she and her uncle, her uncle's name is Mordecai, she and her uncle discover a plot that another advisor, Haman, has. And Haman wants to kill all of the other Jews in all of the lands wow. that, the king, that the king covers, that the king kind of takes care of. Wow. He wants to get rid of all the Jews. He doesn't like the Jews. And because Esther and her uncle are Jews... They're really scared. They're really, really scared for themselves and for all of the other Jews in the land wow. because they could die. And Haman is just not a good guy. And he's, he's kind of like that bully that we talked about. Yeah, that guy Saul. Yeah, except that he knows he's Saul doing didn't wrong. really know because he had letters from the, yeah. the chief priest. Haman, Haman, Haman is doing this because he doesn't like the people. He's just being a he's bully because he likes to be mean. mean. Yeah, he's just being mean. And I bet he likes to be the boss of everybody, too. Yeah, he's just being mean. Yeah. So Esther and her uncle decide that maybe, because Esther is the queen, that maybe she can help save 
the Jews. She can help save her people. Wow. But the problem is, in order to do this, she has to talk to the king. Oh, and okay. Well, she's married to him. That's easy. Well, you don't just get to go knock on the king's door, even if you're married to him. So she asks, she sends a letter to all of the Jewish people and asks them to fast and pray for her. Because if she goes to the king without being called from him, she could die. Like he could just say, nope, uh, nope, you're done. You're not queen anymore. Get out of here. Wow. Yeah, it, it's like the royal laws back then were that serious. Like it, if the wow. king doesn't ask for you to come see him and you just go knock on his door. So it, if she goes and knocks on his door and talks to him, she, will, she might save herself and her uncle and the Jews. But she also she might die. Him mad. She can make him mad. And he can And, be, ooh, she can, ooh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's so way she, worse than... Way worse than climbing a mountain. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So she has all the people pray for her because prayer is, is pretty powerful. So she has all the people pray for her that things will go well when she talks to the king. And so she plans this big banquet for him and invites him to this big banquet. Even though he didn't call her, he didn't ask her to, put, to plan this banquet, she says... Oh, my husband, please come to this banquet. I'm so sorry I, I interrupted you, but please come to this big banquet I, I made for you. And she, he comes, and she, she basically lays, it, lays out Haman's plan and says, um, My dear husband, one of your advisors is planning on killing all of the Jews. And he says, Okay, so what's wrong with that? And then she has to tell him, Well, if you kill the Jews, you have to kill me too. And the king, luckily, is so in love with his wife that he says, well, I don't like that. And he believes Esther, and he loves Esther so much that he says, I'm not doing that. We're not killing the Jews. Actually, because Haman was so mean and so bad, we're going to kill him instead. We're going to save the Jews and kill wow. the bad guy instead. Wow. She had the courage, and her courage... Mm, wow, have the courage to, to save the Jews mm -hmm. when you could, like, be hurt or killed. That's amazing. Yeah, that's some courage. And you know what? There is a feast that the Jews, a, a celebration that the Jews have every year called Purnum, and wow. they celebrate the courage of Esther every year. Well, because, you know, what I love is that they prayed for, like, three days. They prayed for a long time. And so she found her courage through prayer, mm -hmm. through God. And I bet that means that while we're up on climbing that mountain, I don't just pray before. When I need courage for something really difficult, I can just talk to God the whole time. Oh, yeah. I can, like, you can talk to God anywhere, anytime, anytime about, about anything. So I can just every, like, okay, I can just talk to God all the way up. Yeah. And off, uh, oh, yeah. We can we can pray before we leave yeah. for safety on our hike. As we're going around the lake, when you kind of get a little stumbly and maybe a little scared, you can pray for safety. As we kind of pass around the lake and we're getting ready to ascend the the mountain and start climbing up, you can pray for safety. Like to keep us safe as we start coming back down the mountain after we've seen all of the all of the beauty from the top of the mountain. We can give thanks. Oh, we can. Which is a type of prayer. Exactly. And then we can pray for safety coming down. And then when we get down here, we can save that when we get back down. And we can even come back every year and celebrate celebrate God's God's gift and God's safety and celebrate your courage. It's a great idea. Because I know idea. you're going to have courage to, to get through it's this now. It's a great now. idea. We can come back every year and celebrate God's courage. Oh. God, God gave me courage to do this. It's amazing. God, oh, I just love that we know that when we go to God, even when things are really difficult. So everybody, when you are feeling scared or it's something that you just think you can't do, that it's way too hard and it's way too scary, God will help you through it. Oh, yeah. That's an amazing story. Yeah. Wow. I can't read the You said she has her own book she in the Bible? She does. I can't it's read in, the whole it's thing. It's in the Old Testament. And remember, if you don't know 
like where it is exactly. Okay. You can go to the table of contents and you look up Esther. Oh yeah. And then you can find it and you can read you can read her whole story because it's like ten there it is, chapters Esther. long. Page five hundred ninety one. All right. So can, I, I'm gonna. You know what? Like, that that can go. be like you can read that after a hike as you like your bedtime story. You can like sit and okay. sit in the tent and read that tonight. Okay, that sounds good. All right, we're we're getting ready to hike, yep. and then I'm gonna read Esther. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.